How's it going everyone? Zonobar here coming at you with another esports video. Today guys, we're going to talk about the World Championship that starts tomorrow, September 22nd. So today, if you guys are watching this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the groups, my prediction, and what's going to happen. This is a little bit different. This is like the words before words. It comes with a new format. Uh, those are teams that were like uh, placed third in their region or they're just like from other regions that don't have like an official league like the NLCS, the ULCS. So I'm going to talk about my prediction for group A, B, C, and D. And hopefully uh, you guys can share your prediction in the comment down below. I will do a video after all this mess, like all, after all those teams are like disqualified or qualified for the actual world championship. Um, I'm going to do a video about that and just tell you a little bit about uh, what to expect and just show you, like, show you my prediction as always. So for this group A guys, we have Gambit Esports, Team WE and Le uh, Lyon, Lyon Gaming. So... As I told you many times, I'm, a, I'm I was a huge fan of gaming esports when it was like uh, Masco Five. I think it was one of the most innovative teams uh, out there, and I cannot wait to see it. We have uh, Edward in support. We have Diamond Prox in the jungle. Those are the two OG players, and we have other teams. But overall, I'm very surprised to see gaming esports coming back. It's like it's such a weird name to see back on the on the standings and the teams that it just makes me happy. And I honestly want them to win at least and get out of this group uh, to go to the knockout stage. Team WE is something that is not to be on like like you cannot underestimate it. They are so they were so good. They did change some of the players, but I think they have one of the one of the most amazing jungle in uh, in China. Um, they, I think last year when they went to the MSI, they got to qualify for it by beating World Never Give Up or like two years ago. And they were insane. Like that federation, that team was just insane in LPL. So it's going to be very challenging for gaming esports. But I'm going to take my... Uh, I'm going to take my vote to Gaming Esports. I actually want to see them at Words and just show some like crazy exotic picks. Uh, it should be very interesting to see. Lynn Gaming is a team that I'm not really familiar with. I haven't seen a lot of them. I did some research down there. They play like, they're like really meta uh, followers. They play what works and apparently they have a really nice coordination and team and throughout the end of their season, they were absolutely insane together. So we'll see. I'm not putting my like my vote on it but i'm not saying that they cannot win my vote here for group a is gaming esports uh that should be an interesting because i feel like gaming esports and team we are going to get out of this group a and then for the knockout stage i think they have to do like a best of three or best of five to qualify for group stage of words and this best of five or best of three i'm not sure what it is it doesn't say here should be very very interesting so let's move on now to the group b we have dire uh, wolves we have team one esports and we have our dear clown nine uh clown nine that was really good um for uh, acquiring the third place they look really solid uh, they're just very good at, at at reverse sweeping or just like winning best of fives this is a really good team that can really turn out uh, the worst situations into the best situations somehow. It's always surprising me. I'm sure it's always surprising you as well because it's, it is it is what it is, but it's pretty insane when you think about it. So Dire Wolves, I'm not too familiar with this team to be honest, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, from what I saw is that they're, like, it's a little bit like line gaming. Like, they're really good. They had a really good end of the season. And this is, like, their last resort to just doing well at words. I just want to see where, like... Where they're from, like let's just like, like let's just look a little bit. Uh, maybe like this will be like cut it, but I just want to just show you guys my research and like what I do. Um, Lolly Sports has a lot of information about teams, by the way, so feel free to go watch. Uh, but they play for the Oceanic Pro League, which is not the best server ever. Um, so OPL Championship win, blah blah blah, and represent the region of black at the 2017 Mid-Season International. Okay, I don't remember seeing this name for the MSI. But I don't know a lot of those names, to be honest. But we'll see. I'm very curious. Like, they look like young players. Um, uh, Richard, blah, blah, blah. Fontiques, King, Destiny, Shern, Fire, Sheepies. Yeah, like, it's very hard for me to tell you because I don't follow Oceanic uh, League. I cannot keep up with everything again. There's so much content. I'm curious to see what's up and how Oceanic Pro... Like, this is really what I'm excited about is that... When you have a world championship or like an international event, you have people playing the game in such a new perspective and like a new, uh, 
just a new way of looking at it and sometimes you get really surprised by what some teams some new teams can pull up and it can be very impressive so let's go back to the bracket we have team one esports so let's just check them out as well uh, just to see what Cloud9 is going to face. I'm very curious about how Cloud9 is going to take it on. I don't think they should have any worries about Dire Wolves. Uh, just because they're Cloud9. They've been around for so many time. Um, and here again we have a CB LOL final. So we have a Brazilian team that actually earning the spot was after a 3 -1. Oh, they won against Pain Gaming. A 3-1 best. Okay, so that's actually really impressive. Absolute Ray Burt, Marf, Brucer. Forlan and a Vivert. Okay, so we have two mids actually with one sub here. A very interesting uh, formation. And they're going to play against Kalan first. So I'm going to be looking forward to this match tomorrow or today if you guys are watching this video. It should be very, very interesting. So it's going to be like NA against uh, Brazil and then it's going to be like Oceanic against uh, Brazil, which is going to be very, 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 very interesting. Uh, very interesting. So, Cloud9 is playing against a uh, Oceanic team and a Brazilian team. Uh, they don't have Chinese teams. They don't have Korean team. So, I want to say they got lucky or they just got a nice draw, which which happens. So, Cloud9 really better get off those stage because they have an opportunity to represent uh, America uh, for the words. And this is, this is a great opportunity. The group B, it's here. It's not the hardest group at all. Go get it, Clown Nine. We believe. So let's move on to the Club C, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got Fnatic. Fnatic is like, I really want them to go to words. Like, I just, oh my God, like that reckless interview in Paris was just so moving. And he was just like, you can see that the dude is so talented and he, he's, he can be the best if he wanted to. But that, God damn it, it always like, I feel like someone just taking away his dreams all the time it's like it's just it's just awkward it's weird it's weird it makes me sad because like he's been around for so many times and i really want him to i really want him to succeed as much as so as as much as all the fanatic crew but yeah they really deserve to show themselves at words again and just like pull up on a show it should be super interesting so Chaos Latin Gamers. So let's just check Young Generation and Chaos uh, Latin Gamers. Um, let's see what we got here. I'm curious about. I think Young Generation is something that I that rings a bell for some reason. Um, but let's check this one first. So those come from um, CLS, which is the is it the Latin America? Um, Okay, okay, I think it's the Latin America, uh, maybe I'm wrong actually, blah, 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 championship twice, issues, uh, I'm not sure where they're from, to be honest, yeah, I think, I think this is Latin America, according to the name, like Juan, Sebastian, Nicolas, Eduardo, so this is like a Latino team, uh, I'm not sure what they play, uh, Latinos are very, like, I know that from Brazil, uh, from what I used to watch, when I used to watch, like, uh, CB Law, uh, just to because I was super interested in Brazilian um, this Brazilian scene and I wanted to shoutcast it when I used to work at the French studio. I wanted to actually make it a show and like shoutcast it for the French audience. Never got to do it, but I got super interested into it because Brazilians and I, I want to say like Latinos, like South Americans, have a very aggressive gameplay and entertaining one. That's why I find it so interesting. So it's very. I'm very curious to see what's going on with uh, when we're going to see like Fnatic against Latin gamers because Fnatic likes to like they like to prolong game they like to let reckless farm they li they like to do this and their 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 the start of their game like the early game isn't really the best all the time so I'm curious of how they're going to perform with uh, against those Chaos Latin gamers now let's check Young Generation a Young Generation so a team coming from Vietnam. Uh, I never mind then. I have never heard of this, to be honest. And oh, they don't have their own photos. What the hell? Um, so yeah, Ren, Venus, uh, No, Bicoro, Palette. We'll see. I guess I'm not too sure who and what what they're about. Uh, again, like this, the World Championship is a way for you guys to discover new like new players from other countries. And 
just to get to know like the meta and the gameplay for each region like we already know how na and eu are so like different we already know how eu and na is so different from like china and korea so now we're going to see all over the world and it should be super super interesting and i'm sure that everyone can learn from this um whether it's a professional gamer or it's you guys like a solo queue maybe you can learn new ways to play new champions etc etc so i'm going to give it to fanatic for this group guys i really want them to succeed i have my jersey somewhere in my closet but it's here it's prepared for the day of the matches so group d guys the last group of those play in groups for the world championship 2017 we got rain page we got hong kong attitude and we got 1905 um fenerbahce esports which is like uh not super uh super hard to pronounce but it's i think it's the eu um eu team that is from a soccer club so we're just going to check it out i'm not a pro eu guy to be honest hong kong attitude we know that if you guys don't know this this logo it's very popular uh rain page is a new organization oh no that's not it that, that, is that a is that from the soccer the only team with a sporting class partnership okay okay so that's a former soccer club that's a soccer club yeah they have move very 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 good jungle frozen not sure about him pattern japan bot lane and thorl thorl in the top lane very curious about what they what they have to show to be honest um three zero victory with originals and beer super massive blah 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 winter split but other okay okay that's that doesn't really matter i'm not too sure what they're gonna do but we'll see we'll see hong kong attitude so lms player from um from asia we got a lot of players here like mission i think mission is one of like People say he's like a very talented kid in the mid lane and he has like a really nice like game style. So I'm very curious about this. This is what I heard on on the podcast, um, The Dive from like the Riot Casters. Uh, look forward to this actually. It's a very interesting podcast if you guys are into esports. Uh, this is, but they talk about mission in one of the episodes. They're like, yo, this guy is to like watch out. Like you gotta watch out for him really. So I'm very curious to see the matchup with him. And we got Rampage, who is, uh, which is a LGL team. I'm not sure what that is, but it says Oceanic here. But okay, we'll just say it's an Oceanic play. Uh, nah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an Asian team. So I'm not sure LGL. Oh, League of Japan? Okay, I think this is J Japanese then. G for Japan. Um, and I'm, I don't know the players. Like, guys, like, this is like, this is like the group D is the team. It's like the group or I don't know anyone. I cannot tell you any predictions, to be honest. So it's very hard for me to tell you, like, what will be going on. Uh, I have no idea who are those teams. I have no idea who are those players. But you know what? I'm super excited about this World Championship. Very curious about what's going to be happening, to be honest. Always my heart is with Gaming Esports, with Fnatic, with Clan 9, which are the team that I know the best, that I follow all year long. But I'm also, I wouldn't be disappointed if one of my team loses to a team that actually plays better to a team that brings uh, some fresh air to the table um, so I'm really looking forward to this this is a mini warrant not a lot of people are gonna watch it maybe you guys if you can get your game or two that would be awesome just to get some uh, some like overview of what's going on in like small regions and how people play it it's not gonna be the most amazing gameplay it could be it could be I'm not saying it won't be 100% but have a peek guys watch a full game for each group at least go check out like how like uh dire wolf is doing against cloud nine go check out some group d matches i will check some out just to see like what's gonna i'm just i'm overall like very curious about how those uh teams go about the game and what picks and how they do the draft how they organize gangs how they how they team fight that and all that uh overall it should be super interesting so look forward to this guys i'm just going to give you a little bit of schedule peek if you guys want to see this so if you're watching this on september 22nd and sorry um the opening ceremony starts at 10 p.m those are pst times if you live in california those are your times uh, feel free to search for your time uh in your region just go to 
LOL Esports, so lolesports.com, and usually the times are automatically with your time zone. And we're going to start with a Team W against Lion Gaming, then a Clan 9 against Team 1 Esports, so I will definitely look forward to that. Gamut Lion Sports, so I might just stay, like, I might just stay from, like, 11.30 to, like, 2.30 a.m. just to watch Clan 9, Gamut, and uh, Clan 9 again playing against, like, their group stage, so... It should be super interesting. You have four days of competition, guys. So, um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then, we're going to know who is going to go to the knockout stage. Who is going to qualify for words. And then, the world championship is going to start. Really, really looking forward to that. Um, and, feel free, to share your, feel free to share your prediction in the comment down below. Leave a like if you like this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one, probably this Sunday, for another episode of my podcast. Make sure you guys tune in because it's going to go live on Twitch as well on Sunday. Catch you guys later for the next one. Peace.